Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we are on part number two for the camper shell restoration. I'm gonna be taking off the lift glass today. I need to get this off so that way we're down to just the fiberglass and I can begin sanding and getting the whole camper prepped for paint. So hopefully by the end of this video, we've got the lift glass out. I've done some sanding, possibly some body work, and we'll see how far we can get. So sit back, enjoy. I think it may be easier to take the glass out while, well, yeah, I think it might be easier to take the glass out while it's still attached. That way this doesn't move, the whole track's not moving while I'm trying to slide it out. So I may go grab a Phillips head screwdriver, see if I can get this glass slid out. <laughs> Camper shell has been cleaned off or degreased and is kind of dry. Not that it really matters. The paint is definitely peeling in quite a number of spots. I was thinking about whether or not I should tackle the bodywork first and then sand the whole thing, but honestly, I don't want to attach any body filler or anything to paint that's just going to peel up anyways. So I think the best thing to do would be to hit the whole thing with 80 grit sandpaper and get it down to a nice even layer. To do this, I'm using, like I said, 80 grit sandpaper. I picked up a respirator. I'm just gonna start going to town with a palm sander and we'll see how it comes out. I've been sanding now for a few hours. I've gotten a lot of the flat surfaces all done. I've taken off most of the paint and definitely the clear coat. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back and do like these rounded areas by hand because my sander is flat. camper shell to a new location and I've totally finished sanding it with 80 grit. I've got everything down to either fiberglass which is that kind of creamish color you see or more so the primer, the old primer which is this gray color. Now that I've got everything down to an even coat I'm gonna go in with some body filler and fix some spots. I'll show you where a couple of them are. Right down here this little corner is broken so I'm gonna try and recreate with some Bondo a little new edge for it. Up top here, it looks like somebody previously had backed this thing up into something. Um, I'm not sure what, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill that. There's a little nick right here that kind of traces down a little bit. So I gotta fix that. That's the bulk of it. That's actually the worst. So I'm gonna get the Bondo ready to put on the camper shell and we'll see how that goes. I've only done Bondo twice in my life and I would definitely not call myself an expert. I finished up with the Bondo and I'm just waiting for it to dry up before I begin sanding it with 80 grit to smooth out the areas I patched up. All this came out great. Um, I put just enough on, tried not to overdo it. Same down here, just, I mean, you know, I'm gonna sand it smooth. And then this one came out 
pretty good. This one down here, I wasn't really able to recreate the corner. What I, sh I mean, I think I put too much hardener in. It was hard within probably a minute, minute and a half. That's why I'm doing this on the camper shell, but not the prelude, because uh, I'm an amateur figuring it out, you know? Once these are all dried up, I'm gonna put the mask on, hit it with 80 grit sandpaper and smooth it out, and then we'll finish it off with some primer. shell is all done in the primer. I actually didn't quite have enough to get the entire top so I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna go get a second can and just finish up off camera a little bit um, but that's pretty much it for the outside until I can get everything sorted to paint it um, in the final color and I'm gonna basically go and get that other can of paint or primer excuse me hit the whole thing and empty that can and then I'm gonna basically probably use 400 grit over the whole thing but that'll be for the next video I do have one more thing in store for this video now what could a bucket and two gallons of simple green be for? well I've got all of the molding rubber for the windows for the camper shell in this bucket. And I'm gonna basically, I've heard that this works. I'm editing this video now and I totally missed half of my clip. My SD card filled up while I was recording. I thought I had gathered the rest of the clip after I'd put on the new SD card. Apparently I didn't, so that one is missing. All I wanted to say was, Someone had recommended to me to use Simple Green, put the rubber trim or moldings, rubber, anything rubber, like what we have with the camper shell window trim. Uh, I'm gonna soak it in the Simple Green for a couple days and not only will it clean it up, but it's supposed to bring the rubber back to life and ex basically make it look brand new again. I looked up what it would cost to replace that rubber uh, and it honestly it would be about a hundred bucks to buy new stuff. So if I can make this little $20 Simple Green solution work, I'll keep you guys posted. We'll see you in the next video, but I um, wanted to let you know what that clip was missing. That's gonna wrap it up for part two of the series, guys. I got the bodywork done and primer laid down onto the camper shell. Very good progress, very excited. Stay tuned for the next video, part three, to see how the rubber molding comes out with that simple green. I'm pretty excited. Uh, if you're new here, think about subscribing. Comments below how you think the series is going. Thumbs up, don't forget that one, it's important. And I will see you guys in the next one. Keep elevating, adios.